20 to 19 was an interesting year for Red Velvet, as the quintet was going through a transitional period with creative teams at the time. With their old creative director in the rear view and old faces now being promoted to more lead positions, there was no doubt that we'd see creative differences in how their work would be presented moving forward. Most people would look to their ongoing project, the Rev Festival as the first example of changes within the creative team. However, a project before that had already displayed noticeable differences in execution while trying to stay true to the massive world weave together throughout the many, many years of Red Velvet's career. Sappy was the second Japanese EP officially released May 29th of 2019 that year with title track accompanying the same name, Swimming Pool, Sayonara and three Japanese versions of their title tracks. Sappy is a red concept, borrowing the 8-bit sounds from Power Up and the Brassy, electro-pop dressing from Dum Dum or Really Bad Boy to create a fairly cutesy track that obviously would appeal to the kawaii Japanese demographic. This 8-bit sound is intentional. Sappy speaks about the girls urging a love interest to pick between them and the romantic rival, rather than being passive and treating the circumstances like a game. This reference to games is showcased throughout the music video first starting with Sulgi, who's next to a shelf full of objects that much resembles Nintendo 64 game cartridges. She inserts one labeled foam truck which suggests that we're witnessing Red Velvet in this game. To the average viewer, the decision to make the music video's concept resemble one of the car wash may seem odd but it is symbolic of the description of the boy. Sulgi describes the love interest as wishy-washy. According to Etymology Online, the origins for the term dates back to the 15 to 60s to 70s, which was used to describe food, mostly liquid, of being weak in taste or lacking quality. This definition loosened as time went on, from people who are sickly or weak in general to describing people who are weak in character. In modern day, to be wishy-washy means that you lack the strength in character in order to make a decision and stand on it. People who are wishy-washy will often play both teams, rather than make their stance clear on an issue, a topic or in this context, a romantic partner. Figuratively, when most people hear the term wishy-washy, your mind may go to thoughts of bubbles and baths. To convey this idea of the man being indecisive, the character flaw that is showcased with the man's behavior is exaggerated by the setting of the music video, a car wash. The car wash is then made into a game foam truck in which we are seeing play out. In this game, much like other Red Velvet music videos, the girls have roles that all work together in harmony to keep the car factory in maintenance. Much like a video game, the girls are introduced through character name slide cards as they appear when they sing. The car factory is a symbolic setting for the romantic situation they have found themselves in. There are clever decisions within the music video that allude to this such as Wendy behind the wheel taking charge in order to force the boy's hand to pick between her and the other love interest. In that scene, she quite boldly tells him to stop being a coward. It's interesting that they want clarity from the boy. This is showcased with Wendy trying to clean up the soap from the car window as well as Joy tossing out the other bag from her hand. We are also treated to a game of spot the difference during Yeri, Irene and Joy versus, all of which mentions the word game. Of course a track that has an 8-bit sound weaved throughout it would mention the word, but the context of the sentence with the visuals are meant to drive home a certain point. Games are mostly associated with children and it's interesting that the game imagery in question would be more so aligned with someone who was younger when these games were popular, rather than what modern day kids gravitate to. The Nintendo 64 game was clearly outdated and seen as a nostalgic piece of media by 2019 as well as vintage tiny toy cars surrounded by Wendy, which are more relics of the past compared to today's toys. This easily makes us aware that the girls are speaking about a grown man, given the much dated kitty items around them. Despite the fact that he is older, they are conveying the message that he's still acting like a little boy who likes to play games. Another indicator of this is Irene's scene with the cash register. At first glance, it just seems like she's doing some sort of accounting for the business, but paired with her singing you get a different interpretation. Symbolically, the receipts are meant to serve as love letters by the man in question. Love letters are often seen as childish as well, being associated with adolescents and teens rather than adults hence why Irene is constantly tossing them throughout the music video. In one scene shown of her, 
she even says be an adult after flicking another one in the trash. It's interesting by the end that the entire place devolves into absolute chaos, especially after telling the boy that either option is fine but he must pick one of them tonight. Especially as the chaos ensues after showing that the pressure gauge is going out of control, this most likely symbolizes the love interest being backed into a corner to pick once and for all. Two typefaces showcased in the introductions as well as final logo for Sappy Royubin for their group name and bill case extras for Sappy and the individual members' names. A special thank to URV Fonts on Twitter who identified these. What's interesting about Leublin, is that it was made by Maximiliano Lars Perviero who owns the foundry Leon Types. Leon Types is most famously known as a leading foundry in script fonts, due to Perviero's love for calligraphy and a thirst to digitize the most challenging curves according to his website. Red Velvet is no stranger to his work. In 2016, the release of Russian Roulette introduced us to the now iconic logo donned in Spriviero's typeface selfie. His typefaces reflect a very vintage feel, which is showcased not only throughout Russian Roulette but Zappy as well. With both having a naked sound as well as involving games, it's an eerie connection that showcases a delicate care to connect Zappy within the creative direction of their other works. In the song Zappy we hear Yeri say that although dreaming is not bad, love, is not a fairy tale, it's reality. This mentioning of fairy tales is showcased visually through the album's first concept, where the girls are seen in maiden clothing with scarves on the head. For me, it reminded me of more regular everyday wear for princesses when they are out and about. I also get strong red riding hood feels from the styling as well, while the styling in the second set may have been just to appeal to the Japanese audience, the use of goldfishes could be intentional. Goldfish have made special appearances in fairy tales before, granting wishes and making people's dreams come true. It's also said that goldfish represent good luck. The way the girls look longingly at the goldfish makes me believe that they are hoping for good luck in their love interest making a decision and that decision being them, rather than the other girl. The difference between these two concepts could also be what Yeri was speaking about, the distinct separation of fairy tale and reality. This is a last minute edition being that I hadn't really commented on the packaging because apart from the choice to make the CD be a red flower, there wasn't much to comment on. The flower itself matches the flowers that the girls are surrounded in and holding but the flowers are simply just props and don't have any larger meaning. Although, it does make it a nice tie-in with the Japanese compilation album Bloom, I chose to focus on the photo shoot and thus, the photo book instead. I just wanted to point out that the album package comes with photo cards that are designed to resemble playing cards. I've looked extensively into it and it seems like the design choice was simply to aid to the game concept rather than some larger meaning itself as well. Despite being a bit bare bones compared to their Korean comebacks, Sappy has an interesting angle to offer. Taking a relatable sticky situation and expanding it to ridiculous, over exaggerated proportions to express the girls feelings regarding it. Red Velvet are typically very assertive in their music, the year prior showcasing this best with their hit song Bad Boy and its flirty, flashy yet dangerous visuals to match. This does not change with Sappy. Despite its soft pastel, retro-leaning, feminine and bubbly aesthetic Sappy is just as bold and commanding in tone as the aforementioned Velvet concept. It's proof of Red Velvet's versality that they are able to pull off both seamlessly. Who the fuck is this? You're a funny morons from Cape. It's over. It's over. That's it. Okay? That's all I gotta say.